Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x, this is equal to 39. What is the value of x, given that x is not equal to 0, and x is a member of real numbers? So let's prevent the solution from here. We have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x, we can express this as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, then plus 8 to the power of x, this can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x, this is equal to 39. Now we find that 2 to the power of 2 raised to power x, and 2 to the power of 3 raised to power x, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to power m, which we can express as a raised to the power of m raised to the power n. Applying this exponent property, we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3. This is equal to 39. The next step is that we can let 2 to the power of x be equal to u. Let's substitute u here so that we have u plus u squared plus u to the power of 3. This is equal to 39. Let's rearrange this equation so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 then plus u. This is equal to 39. Now the next step is to take 39 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 then plus u minus 39 this is equal to 0 so we have u to the power of 3 plus u squared then plus u subtract 39 we can express 39 as 27 plus 9 then plus 3 this is equal to 0 so we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 then plus u subtract 27. 27 can be expressed as 3 to the power of 3 minus times plus 9. So this is minus 9 which you can express as minus 3 raised to the power of 2 then subtract 3. This is equal to 0. We have u to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 3 so we can write this as u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2, minus 3 to the power of 2, then plus u minus 3, this is equal to 0. So we have three parts here. The first part is the difference of two parts, that is two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. Then the second part here is the difference of two perfect squares, that is a squared minus b squared. And we have the third part here. So from the first part, we can express a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the same thing as a minus b. a squared plus ab then plus b squared. And this implies that u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as u minus 3. Into the parentheses, this is u squared plus 3 times u, so this is 3u, then plus 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Let's call this equation 1. And then we have for the second part here, this is the difference of two perfect squares, that is a squared minus b squared. We can express this as a plus b, then a minus b. So applying this identity, now applying this identity, then we have u squared minus 3 squared. This is the same thing as u plus 3. Then u minus 3. Let's call this equation 2. And um, from here, we can combine this so that we have u minus 3. u squared plus 3u plus 9. Um, then we have plus we have u plus 3 u minus 3 then 
plus u minus 3 this is equal to 0 so as you can check here u minus 3 is common here we can factor out u subtract 3 so that into the parentheses here we have u squared plus 3u plus 9 then plus here u plus 3 then plus 1 this is equal to 0 now here we have u minus 3 here we have u squared then 3u plus u this is 4u then plus 9 plus 3 this is 12 plus 1 this is 13 so plus 13 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 now we have two parts here the first part is u minus 3 this is equal to 0 the second part here is u squared plus 4u plus 13 this is equal to 0 now from the first part here u1 is equal to 3 from the second part here this is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c this is equal to zero from this quadratic equation we have that a is equal to one b is equal to four and that c is equal to 13 so we can check the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by assessing the discriminant value which is equal to b squared minus 4ac in doing this we substitute the values of a b and c so that now the discriminant value here is 4 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 13 so here we have 4 squared which is 16 minus 13 times 4 this is equal to 52 and you find that 16 minus 52 this is minus uh, the 6 which is less than 0 this implies that here we have actually two complex roots we have two complex roots and essentially this quadratic equation part will not give us a real solution so there's no real solution there's no real solution from here given that x is a member of real numbers so this means that we disregard this quadratic equation part so this part is rejected so let's proceed to u1 which which is equal to 3 so if you recall if you recall we are saying that let u be equal to 2 to power x now we have u1 is equal to 3 now if you recall we are saying let u be equal to 2 to the power of x so we have 2 to the power of x this is equal to 3 to solve for x here we introduce logarithm on both sides so we have rock 2 to the power of x this is equal to rock 3 so rock 2 to the power of x this is in the form of rock a to the power of n which can be expressed as n rock a applying this power root property then rock 2 to the power of x becomes x rock 2 this is equal to rock 3 let's divide both sides by rock 2 also here by rock 2 so this implies that x is equal to rock 3 divided by rock 2 rock 3 over rock 2 this is in the form of rock a over rock b which we can express as rock a to base b applying this logarithm property then x is equal to rock 3 to base 2 so this is the value of x the next step from here is to verify so let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation 
So if you recall, we have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x. This should give us a value of 39. So we have 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2. Then plus 4. 4 here is 2 to the power of 2. Raise 2. Log 3 to base 2. Then plus 2 to the power of 3. Raise to power of 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 39. So we have 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2. Then plus. Now this is 2 to the power of 2 rog 3 to base 2 then plus 2 to the power of now 3 rog 3 to base 2 this is supposed to give us value of 39 now 2 to the power of rog 3 to base 2 and 2 to the power of 2 rog 3 to base 2 and 2 to the power of 3 log 3 to base 2 this is in the form of b to the power of rog a to base b this should give us a value of a. Now, we will apply this logarithm property. So here we have 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2. This becomes 3. Then plus 2 to the power of 2. Now, this is a power. So this implies that here we have 2 to the power of log 3 squared to base 2. So applying this logarithm property, then here we have 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Then plus, here we have 2 to the power of 3. This is a power. So essentially here we have 2 to the power of rog 3 raised to the power of 3 to base 2. So this is 3 to the power of 3, and this is 27. This should give us a value of that's 9. So 3 plus 9 plus 27, this is 36. This is 39, which is equal to 39. So the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that the value of x which is rog 3 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video